Uh, lift off conditions. It's looking pretty good. FTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good evening, it's Tuesday, November 23, 2021. And on you screen is a live view Falcon 9 as it awaits its 10.21 p.m. Pacific time launch from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Floor Space. My name is Jesse Anderson. I am Production Engineering Manager on Falcon 9 here at SpaceX. Welcome to our webcast coverage for the Double Asteroid Redirection Test or DART mission managed by NASA's Launch Services Program. If you ever saw the movie Armageddon or played Asteroid as a kid, this mission is for you. SpaceX is targeting Tuesday, November 23rd for Falcon 9's launch of NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART, mission from Space Launch Complex 4 East, SLC-4E, at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The instantaneous launch window is at 10.21 p.m. PST, 6.21 Coordinated Universal Time on November 24th. Good evening from Hawthorne, California. I'm John Isbrucker, the Falcon Principal Integration Engineer. And a launch vehicle and spacecraft are in good health and ready for launch as we approach T minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds to liftoff. The Falcon 9 team reported on console at T-minus 2 hours 15 minutes. We received the final countdown briefing from the SpaceX launch director, and we began the final checks of the launch vehicle and the ground systems. Final check out of the flight termination system was performed at T-minus 1 hour 45 minutes. The double asteroid redirection test, DART, mission is directed by NASA to the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory with support from several NASA centers, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Goddard Space Flight Center, Johnson Space Center, Glenn Research Center, and Langley Research Center. DART is a planetary defense-driven test of technologies for preventing an impact of Earth by a hazardous asteroid. DART will be the first demonstration of the kinetic impactor technique to change the motion of an asteroid in space. The DART mission is led by APL and managed under NASA's Solar System Exploration Program at Marshall Space Flight Center for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and the Science Mission. Directorate's Planetary Science Division at NASA Headquarters in Washington, D.C. DART is a spacecraft designed to impact an asteroid as a test of technology. DART's target asteroid is not a threat to Earth. This asteroid system is a perfect testing ground to see if intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid is an effective way to change its course. Should an Earth-threatening asteroid be discovered in the future? While no known asteroid larger than 140 meters in size has a significant chance to hit Earth for the next 100 years. Only about 40% of those asteroids have been found as of October 2021. The binary near-Earth asteroid, 65803, Didymos is the target for the DART demonstration. While the Didymos primary body is approximately 780 meters across, its secondary body, or moonlet, is about 160 meters in size, which is more typical of the size of asteroids that could pose the most likely significant threat to Earth. The Didymos binary is being intensely observed using telescopes on Earth to precisely measure its properties before DART arrives. The DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact deflection by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of approximately 6.6 .6 kilometers per second. With the aid of an onboard camera, named Draco, and sophisticated autonomous navigation software. The collision will change the speed of the moonlet in its orbit around the main body by a fraction of 1%. But this will change the orbital period of the moonlet by several minutes enough to be observed and measured using telescopes on Earth. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 
Zero. Ignition. On the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. Vehicles pitching downrange. Max Q. In the ignition. We've got successful stage separation. Second stage engine ignition now at full power on the Merlin engine. Next event coming up is going to be payload fairing jettison. On the left side, you can see the titanium grid fins on the first stage beginning to deploy as we get ready to bring the first stage back down to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. Getting ready now, there's the view confirmed. of the fairing. And we've got deployment of the payload fairing, and now the DART spacecraft exposed to the vacuum of outer space. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these new fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Of signal. Welcome back to our launch coverage of the DART mission for NASA. If you're just joining us, we had an on-time launch at 10.21 p.m. Pacific time, followed by successful ascent stage separation. First stage landing took a little bit, but we got the pictures. And it's two second stage engine burns that have put DART on an escape trajectory from Earth. There's one more major milestone coming up to complete today's mission, and that is deployment of the DART spacecraft from the Falcon 9 second stage due to happen in about 10 seconds from now. The view you see from the second stage camera is the DART spacecraft. We're gonna listen to hear the call out and watch for DART separation. DART separation confirmed. And to those watching, you're witnessing a successful deployment of the DART spacecraft. The impact of the DART spacecraft with the small asteroid Dimorphos is scheduled to happen sometime between the end of September 
and early October in 2022 when the double asteroid are closest to the Earth. Now during impact, the spacecraft will be traveling roughly 15,000 miles per hour or four miles per second. This is gonna be an exciting collision to witness and we wish everyone at NASA the best of luck with the rest of the mission. Those are some incredible views there. Now, one quick clarification. This is actually the 95th recovery of a Falcon first stage, which is the 88th for a Falcon 9. And with successful payload deploy, that brings our webcast to a close. For continuing coverage of the NASA mission, head on over to nasa.gov slash live or check them out on their social channels. Thank you to NASA for entrusting us with the DART mission as well as the range for their support. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers. We hope that you enjoyed the webcast this evening and we'll see you again soon.